hi viewers you are welcome to another tutorial video on start pro vhi in this video i'll be showing you how you can analyze a continuous beam that is loaded with several load cases i mean several load types like udl uvl and point load so let's start i uh, will go to um new project then you go to space and then under the file name you can give it um let's say beam with several load type usually for the length i use a uh, meter and for the force i use kilonewton if you are not comfortable with this unit you can definitely change it to what you are comfortable with okay so that's not a problem then you click on next and then finish and then you uh, you can close this then let's start with um the notes we are going to have one at zero meter have the next one as 2.5 meter have one at 5 meter have one at 7 meter and have one at 10 meter um this is actually the third video i'm making on the analysis of a continuous beam so if you haven't seen the um the previous ones you can just go and check them they are not long they are very short and very precise so you can check them to have you know a more thorough and rigid knowledge of the analysis so after that you can go to add beam so that we can create the beam then we are going to create a beam from this node up to this node create another beam from this node up to this node create a node from here to here create a node from here to here okay and the next thing will be to give the property to the to the beam uh, go to general and then you go to property you can see define and then i will pick any let me just click on rectangular since we are done with that you can go to um the supports and then you create we can create a fixed support click on add you can go to create again then we can create a pin support now and then you say add okay then for this one i can select this node and then select this node you can hold control to select two or more nodes then click on assign to selected nodes we are using this assignments method then click on assign then yes then let me drag let me click this um, second node uh, the second support i mean then you can pick this three nodes then we see use this assignments method then click on assign then it will assign the nodes now the next thing will be to you know to to load to load the beam so go to load and definition then we can create a load case click on add let's just say the name is load case we don't need to edit this then and then we can pick anyone let me just give it a name um it doesn't matter life then click on add then close so click on add and then you can go to member load then under the member load you can use the um uniform um force that is um udl you can use the concentrated force that is point load and you can use the linear varying you can also use the trapezoidal i also told you that you can use the linear varying or the trapezoidal instead of the uniform force so that is not a big deal so let's use the uniform force instead and then we can use um let's say a value of um minus 2.5 the minus is essential because that depicts the direction and then let me just leave this at zero 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 click on add I want the point load to be at the center of the beam remember that the span of each beam is 2.5 meter so 2.5 divided by 2 that should be equal to um, 1.25 okay so let me give the load to be um, minus 5 that is the load for the that's the value for the point load and then you are going to give p1 a value a d1 sorry a value and that should be 1.25 so just click on add then we are going to have another one let's say a linear varying and then the value for w1 let's use minus 2.5 and let's use minus 4 minus 4 okay and click on add then we can close so let's use the first one which is a uniform force so i'll be having the uniform force for this beam and this beam then use the assign to selected beam method you click on assign yes that's good so this is the uniform you can see we have it for two beams 
then this one which is the uniform varying i'm going to have it for this beam and this beam so click on assign to selected beam assign yes so this is what we have and then for the point force i'm going to have it for all of the beams so click this click this click this and click this so that's the four beams then you click on assign selected beam click on yes so you can see uh where we have the point load but this is um looking unrealistic somehow so what you can just do is you can scale the you know the the point load uh sorry the uvl and the udl they are acting properly only the point load is not acting properly it is too long so you can just scale the um the drawing so to do that you come here um here where you have symbol and labels so click on symbol and label and then you can go to scale okay then click on apply immediately so that i can apply immediately let me zoom it to this side then what we want to do is scale we want to load the we want to scale a load which is a point force if it is a distributed force but it is a point force so just click on this arrow button and then it will start um, scaling it it is actually scaling it you can see the difference now i think this is okay or is it not yeah this is okay like this then you can click on apply then okay so you can see how the loads are now so you this still does not change the value of the load but to just scale the length of the load so that you can have you know it is not reasonable the way it was before so now you have your load and then we can proceed to the analysis so you can go to analysis and print then you can pick no print you can even print all let's click on all this time around then click on add then click on close so then you go to analyze and then you go to run analysis you can save Okay, so you have zero error, zero warning, and zero notes. You can go to post processing, then click on done, and then just click on OK. Then you can check your, you know, your diagrams. You can check. Um, this is the deflection diagram. You can check your moment diagram. Hold control, so that you can do this, and then you can, you know, check your shear force as well. All right. So as simple as that. And you can check your value go to results then go to view value then you can go to beam results you can check your you know your shear force like this then you have the value okay so this is how you do it it has let me maximize it is as simple as that if you like this video ensure you give it a like and then you need to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed i definitely have a lot of content to post on start pro if you don't want to miss them you need to subscribe and keep tuned